What are the differences between HIFU and percutaneous microwave ablation? Number one, mechanism. HIFU uses precisely directed ultrasound waves to generate heat in fibroids, increasing their temperature and causing coagulative necrosis and tissue ablation. Percutaneous microwave ablation, on the other hand, employs microwave energy through an antenna placed inside the fibroid. This heat leads to tissue ablation. Number two, precision and control. HIFU offers exceptional precision and control over the treatment area, sparing nearby normal structures. Although percutaneous microwave ablation is effective, it may lack the precision of HIFU, risking heat dispersion that could harm nearby healthy tissues. Number three, invasiveness. HIFU is a completely non-invasive procedure performed through the skin without surgery or needles, resulting in minimal discomfort and faster recovery. Percutaneous microwave ablation involves inserting a needle into the fibroid to place microwave antenna, increasing the risk of infection and leading to longer recovery times. Number four, real-time imaging. HIFU is typically conducted under real-time ultrasound guidance, allowing operators to monitor the treatment in real time. Percutaneous microwave ablation is also performed with real-time ultrasound imaging, but due to the needle insertion, the imaging may be less accurate, potentially leading to complications. Number five, safety profile. Generally, HIFU is considered safe with minimal risks of complications due to precise targeting. While percutaneous microwave ablation also is safe, there is a slight risk of unintended tissue damage due to less precise energy delivery. Number six, Another advantage of HIFU is its capacity to ablate fibroids in all parts of the uterus and of all sizes. When a patient has multiple fibroids, performing percutaneous microwave ablation can be complicated and risky as a needle must be inserted into each fibroid individually. Number seven, in Malaysia, the training for percutaneous microwave ablation is not well established. The equipment is typically purchased by a trader and the doctors rent it from them. There is no formal training. This lack of training can lead to complications. In contrast, to perform HIFU, doctors must undergo intensive training. They must also complete at least 50 cases and pass an examination before receiving certification to perform HIFU.